Hi folks, this is Jack Kemp, and this lesson will be on writing equations in uh, standard or slope intercept form. Uh, we've graphed them, and then we're just going to expand a little bit on writing equations. But first, go ahead and copy that down. So I have to pause this video so you can copy that down and take care of that. All right, now that you come back, uh, let's begin. So writing, writing linear equations in slope intercept form. So the first uh, part, section A, write an equation of the line in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, remember, that passes through the given point and has the given slope. Here's number one. Passes through negative one, three, and has, has slope negative four. Okay, remember, uh, so far we know what the slope is, what m is, so uh, y equals mx plus b, I'm going to substitute negative four in right there for the m, so that gets me y equals negative four x plus b. All right, and then what I'm going to do is substitute this for x, because that's an x, y point. I'm going to substitute in x for right there, and the y right there, the 3 goes right there, and solve for b. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and plug that in, and then uh, uh, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Then you're going to subtract 4 from both sides, and you get b equals negative 1. Okay, now that's not the answer. A lot of students want to stop right there. It says write the equation in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to put that b right up there into where it, uh, uh, the b goes right there. So the answer is going to be y equals negative 4x minus 1. Okay, let's try another one of those. All right, so it's going through 6, 3, and the slope is 2. Okay, y equals mx plus b, so it's going to be y equals 2x plus b. You're going to substitute 6, 3 in for the x and y. And then 2 times 6 is 12. You're going to subtract 12 from both sides, and you get negative 9. Don't forget it has to go back in right there. So the final answer is y equals 2x minus 9. Okay, so part B, write an equation of that line shown. Okay, now remember, your slope is rise over run. So here's my rise right here. It went up 2 and then went over 1. So the rise is 2 over 1. All right, so your slope is going to be... Uh, 2. Alright, so now we know y equals 2x plus b. Alright, then we're going to just plug in this negative 4 for x and this 1 for y. And then, uh, uh, so we get that. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. You're going to add 8 to both sides to get 9. Don't forget to put that in right up there. y equals 2x plus 9. Okay, last part. Uh, write an equation of the line that goes through the following points. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first calculate the slope, you guys. Remember the slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 equals x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is y2, this is y1, this is x2, this is x1. So negative 4 minus a minus 2 becomes 4 plus 2, or 6. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6, so you get negative 1. Alright, so you get uh, y equals negative 1x plus b. And then I'm going to go ahead and substitute in. You can substitute in any points to get B, you guys. I chose this one, okay? So, so I'm going to substitute in, uh, this is Y, this is X. So it in, went in for the Y and the X right there. 1 times negative 1 is, is uh, negative 1. Then you add 1 to both sides. Be careful. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. All right, now, now before I give you the final answer, you got watch this, you guys. I substituted in the other point also, and, and you'll see that I get negative 1. It doesn't matter which point you substitute in. You always get your same B as your answer right there. So then my final answer, y equals mx plus b, is y equals negative 1x minus 1, but you don't need the negative 1 in front of the x right there. It's understood to be a negative 1 right there. Alrighty, and then uh, here's the assignment that goes with this, uh, pages page 333, numbers 3 through 20 all.